We have reports about the fumaroles seen at the summit of the uh, Damawan volcano, which is the highest uh, volcano in the Europe and Asia. Uh, it's five and a half kilometers and more, around 150 meters more than that. And today they have been observing fumaroles degassing at the summit of the volcano. This is uh, less than 24 hours after the earthquakes in the nearby area where the fault line actually is related to this comes and is covered by the recent lavas from this volcano. Of course, the last time it erupted was around 7,000 years ago, but uh, this uh, was enough to cover part of that uh, uh, fault line, make it invisible. And this fault line is now having uh, several earthquakes. Of course, there are geo geophysical stations uh, at this area, seismograms and everything is available. We have a 10 year trend showing that where the location of these earthquakes are. And uh, we can show you that this is the location of the uh, Damoban volcano near Tehran, the capital of Iran in the Southwest Asia. And this is the location of the fault line. This is the location of the Damovan volcano. The location of this earthquake was on the Talagan thrust fault. These are the fault lines created by the pushing of the uh, Africa and uh, Arabia against uh, Eurasia, pushing up, creating huge mountains. You can see that the Talagan fault line are marked for you here. And this is Damovan itself. And the Talagan fault line is here. And it is truncated by the uh, Damovan volcano's lavas, uh, which is uh, around 7,000 years ago, the last eruption. Of course, femoral activity existed. This is, we are talking about the very high mountains. Thrust fault lines in this area created something like Azad Kuh, that you see the image of it here, pushing up the rocks vertically almost 4,000 meters. Uh, this is more than 4,000 meters. Many summits are there around that or above. And uh, in these areas in Asia, we are talking grand scale of everything is bigger than what you are used to see in the rest of the world. And uh, Albor's mountains of Iran, you can see here. And there's a summit, the highest summit in this area, the highest peak in the Eurasia, which is the Damovan, is one of those grand scale volcanic uh, areas. And you can see that here. It is created, of course, I have a video about it, but by the delamination. It's close to the capital Tehran, capital of the Iran, Tehran. You see all kinds of lenticular clouds. The scale of this uh, volcano, I'm, I'm trying to show you to here. That yellow dot you saw that, that was one of the volcanoes in the Reconus Peninsula of Iceland. The orange one is uh, Sakurajima. And uh, what you see as a vo volcanic uh, uh, cone here is Shisholdin and Damovan who is well above them, almost twice the size of Shisholdin. If you put Damovan in the Reconus Peninsula of Iceland, this will take this uh, uh, amount of the land. The eruption style of it will be very similar to the Klochevskaya that we have in the Kamchatka Peninsula. I have a video about this uh, volcano. I will put it at the end here. You can watch that also. Today I'm going to talk about the tallest Eurasian volcano. It's called Mount Damovan, and it is in a place that you don't think even about it. That's in Iran. Iranian plateau is part of the uh, southwestern parts of the Eurasian plate, as you can see here. It's uh, being pushed by the African plate and part of it, which is the Arabian plate, toward the north, creating this uh, huge mountain range of Zagros and uh, Albors. Zagros is created be practically because the Arabian plate is tilted. And this tilt has caused this folding of the uh, earth, with earth crust, which is in the Zagros region. And the same process has caused the mi oil migrate upward toward the Arabian plate. Some of it, which is in Iran, uh, is trapped there because it was on the higher ground previously trapped. This tile volcano, which is in the Iran, in the northern part of Iran, close to the Caspian Sea, is 5,671 meters. In Eurasia, we don't have any volcano higher than this, uh, which is also active. I will explain that uh, how it is active. Uh, the landscape of it is a landscape of contrast. As you can see here, this volcano is rising above all the hills and mountains around it, 
which are usually 3,000 to 4,000 meters high. And this is standing one and a half kilometer above all of that. The country itself is a country of the, you know, different things at the same time. You can go to the north and have an ski, uh, in a ski resort. And then at the same time, you can buy a ticket, go to the south of the country on the uh, Indian Ocean coast, be beside the coconut trees, or even uh, get a banana from a tree and just eat. That's the where this uh, volcano is located. As you can see, this volcano has a summit which has a crater lake on it. The crater lake is visited annually by a lot of you know tourists. It has been ascended centuries ago by many of the locals. They used to mine sulfur from that region. But even before that, there was an older volcano on top of it which we call old uh, Damovan. The old Damovan was blown up in a super, uh, super uh, you know, explosive event, which actually blew the top of the old Damovan and created the young Damovan later, which is you, what you see here, the old Damovan. You can see it even in a simple picture like that. The old Damovan is under the yellow line and the new Damovan is on top of it. This tilting of the plate has caused something fascinating happening to that region of the Albors mountain. We call it delamination. You can see it in the metal work. It's easy when you press a metal under a stress, it will form laminations. The laminations happen also in the earth crust. When the Eurasian plate pushes, uh, is pushed by the Arabian plate, this lamination happened at the, in the region of the Albors mountains, where practically the mountain doesn't have a root. So practically rising of the mantle under this, uh, created partial melting and creating this volcano. This is the place in mythology of the Iranian people that the tyrant Aziz Dehak, which literally means dragon, is a kind of you know uh, is a kind of a figure like the uh, Dracula. Imagine that so, uh, such a ruler it was in the past, and it is chained in that volcano. And when he, he sets free himself, the volcano will erupt. That will be the end of the world according to the mythology of the Iranian people. Uh, the volcano is yet uh, active with incense, and as I mentioned, people ex extract sulfur from there in the past. And it may awaken eventually, because we know that there is fumarole activity there. And who knows, one day we may wake up and hear that uh, Ajidahak is free, the dragon is freed himself, and the mountain has erupted. Tallest volcano in the Eurasian continent.